I want to get this uh, this organization started with you. Only we could do it. Let me tell you the idea. Right. It's like where like we start like this youth league, right? right? Like football league, basketball, football. I mean basketball, football, softball for girls and boys. I'm yeah. gonna get all the rappers to adopt the team. Right. Each rapper have his own team. Coolio have his team. Trash have his team. I have my team. And we play. And the rappers are the ones that put the money up. We get the field. We right. play. Right. We have like the churches come out and sell food. That's real. We had the fathers and the uncles and all of the men in the community. They do security. Right. Get their respect back for the kids and Straight everything. Up. Then we had the FOI come out. We had the deacons from the church. They do security. And we just play football, baseball. You know, get that community spirit going again. I'm with it, Then man. on the weekends, we have block parties. All right. And every rapper got to get up. Every rapper, nigga, if you got to wreck it out, you got to get up for us. You got to come through a free show for the hood. That's real. And it's like a little tour. That's so real. we do that. We get all the communities back together. Now, I'm talking to Al Sharpton about this, some other motherfuckers with some power. And then when we do that, we register the voters. And if we can register them for Democrats, Republican, or Independent. Yeah. Once we register the voters, we have power. Then we start going up to the mayors of these cities and telling them, look, we got this many voters in this city. We want you to do this. We want um, a community center. We start hitting up Nike for the free clothes, the computer yeah. stores for the free computers for each community center. And if they don't, then shit, that's how many people we have in those cities we can regulate. You know what I mean? Yeah. If we tell the mayor, nigga, if you don't do this, then we ain't going to do this. Yeah. We tell them we can clean up the streets. I'm going to have all these tough ass, supposed to be gangster rappers. Straight We're going to all get in the van. We're going to travel. LA got to be the last place because it's going to be hardest. But yeah. we can do New Jersey, all of that. We're going to drive to all these drug areas, right? Yeah. Imagine me, Red Man, Tretch, Ice Cube, them type of niggas getting out, going up to the. Um, whoever's the, the main drug dealer on that block, who runs shit? You know, if we get out of a van and be like, what's up, nigga? How y'all doing? What's yeah. up? Yo, who the nigga that runs shit? They're going to take us to that nigga. We invite those niggas to dinner, invite them niggas to some Jean <laughs> Perignon, steak and lobster, and be like, look, player, we asking you, not telling you, we asking you as a player to a player, can you please give us a pass to have these streets clean from 6 p.m. to 11 p.m., 6 a.m. to 11 p.m.? Right. Let that be for the kids. Let them the niggas be safe during those times. No gunshots, no drug dealing. From 11 p.m. to 6 a.m., y'all can have the streets back. But let us get the streets from these times. Then we can um, get these politicians. And I talked to Al Sharpton. He said he can get the police to, like, chill out um, on those nighttime patrols if, if niggas can get the streets clean from 6 to 11. Hey, but, and you know what else, too, though? When I talk to you face-to-face, I'm going to drop some shit on you, right? Some other stuff, too, right? Mm-hmm. But, yeah, that's that, man. You know, I'm with all that, right? And, um, you know, that's, that, that's my type of work. Yeah, we need power, man. I'm telling you. Hey, dig it, man. You know, hey, I'm telling you, we got power, man. Yeah, we need power. Power is numbers. and yeah. It's like we think, rappers, you know, man, while we don't have, we got the juice, we just ain't doing nothing with it. it, it because it ain't collectivized. Right. i tell you what, did you see them cats in Chicago? I think they was GDs. Yeah. Like they, push, they put people in the street. I know, they, they be looking out for me when I come out there. And they be running, they, they be running people on the ticket, like for councilmen. I know, they got them, this dude, what's his name, bro? Uh, some nigga they just had out there, but he lost. Yeah, he Gator. came close. Gator, yeah. yeah he I'm, came close, though. Yeah. There was some good cats, too, man. I went out there. They be looking out for me, but they be, they be gang so, like, the one set want me to be down with them. And yeah. The, oh, the, 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 the Blackstones want me to be with them. Yeah. He be with them, but... Yeah, I had some. I had to run it with them in Milwaukee because that was when that little kid died, Yummy Sandifer. Yeah, I heard you send a shout out to him. Yeah, I had to do the show that next day when, yeah. after they just killed that kid. Yeah. Because you heard what happened, right? Yeah, they executed him. Right, they executed him. And I was I, I was out there when I did the show. The gang was in the fucking audience. The whole gang had like bought out the stadium. Damn. So I'm rapping to the niggas that just killed this little kid, oh. and they all screaming out "Thug Life," and I, I felt bad. Like, wait did a minute, you? they got it twisted. Yeah. So I start cursing them niggas out like y'all niggas. Cowards, y'all niggas cowards, y'all killed that kid, y'all niggas was punks, man, I hate all you niggas, I hurt all you, them niggas start throwing shit, we had out in the stadium, damn, it was tough, man, the whole damn. gang tore up the whole neighborhood, but then I started getting letters from that area, where all, like, the mothers, the girls was writing yeah. me, like, thank you for doing that, because yeah. everybody's scared of these niggas, see, that's what I want to do, that's right, I want if these gang niggas ain't going to get straight, then I want to take them out the gang, that's real, because if they don't, it's making trouble on us, yeah, because I mean? if you ain't part of the, the solution, then you part of the problem. No and doubt. Therefore, you're going to be trying to whack us anyway. No doubt. See the fans? So, yeah. shit. You know, business as usual. That's how I feel. But just for the forces of good, man. You know, I'm with all that, Pac. You know, you anytime, anything I can do, brother, you know, uh, yeah. that's what I'm about, man. I've always been uh, less of a talker, more of a doer. Okay. And, um, you know, I mean, that ain't, you know, that's just my style, man. He didn't know Tupac Shakur. You don't know Snoop Doggy Dog. 
You don't know Biggie Smalls. You don't know Sean Puffy Coles. You don't know them butts. While you sitting on your butt, afraid to come into the community and deal with the grassroots of your people, a whole generation has come up around you. Let's talk about the rappers for a minute. Can we talk about the rappers for a moment? Let's talk about Tupac Shakur for a moment. Tupac Shakur is a child of the 60s. Tupac Shakur, born out of the spirit of the revolution of the 60s. Tupac Shakur, fire in his bones. Huh? Boldness and rebellion in his blood. Born from his beautiful, bold Black Panther mama, Afeni, sitting in the jail cell, a revolutionary woman carrying the fruit of life, mocking the child in her womb. Mocking the child with rebellion. Mocking the child with insurrection. Mocking the child with a spirit to not go along with what's been going on. When you got a generation like that, you've got to work with them. You've got to mold them and shape them and fashion them. They represent the best generation we've ever produced. They're mad. They're angry. White men say, where your cap turned this way, they turn theirs around. He say he wearing his pants up, they wear theirs down. Whatever he says do, they do the opposite. Rebellious. Sick and tired of what's been going on in the hells of North America. And so they rap lyrics that speak to the pain and the suffering and the low down life of the black man and woman. They speak to our condition at the grassroots level, in the muck, in the mire, and in the mud. Not to just be attacked. If you sit and if you stand in the pulpit that Adam Clayton Powell Jr. stood in, Adam Clayton Powell characterized himself in his words as the baddest nigger in Congress. The baddest nigger in Congress. That's what he said. He said, keep the faith, baby. Don't panic. Tupac said the same thing. Keep your head up. Keep your head up. But for butts, and a few other butt licking, boot licking, buck dancing niggas. Somebody has to call these niggas out. But some of you are so connected to them or you want something from them or you want favor from them or you want to be recognized by them. If you don't stand up for the liberation of our people, then the hell with any nigga. I don't care who he is or where he is, the hell with him if he won't stand up for the liberation of our people. 